I have another flashlight review for you. This time it is the Rovivon Angel Eyes E8 keychain flashlight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. All right, two things before we get started. First, I'd like to thank Rovi Vaughn for reaching out to me and offering to send me this light. Now, the next thing is I actually specifically requested the Angel Eyes E8 because it has two batteries. It does have a built-in lithium-ion battery, which is non-replaceable. However, it also has the option to install a separate AAA battery of your choice. And I did that because, or I requested this because of comments on recent videos about flashlights and the trend towards installing non-replaceable batteries. So here is an option. Okay, so what we're going to do is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light. I'll go over its physical and performance specifications. And of course, I'll do some demonstrations. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Angel Eyes E8 or the Rovivon, Angel Eyes E8 keychain flashlight. I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So this is the box that the light came in, just a nice small plastic storage box. Inside are just a few things. Of course, the very important instruction manual and warranty information. And there is also a warranty registration card separate from the manual. And the other, other thing is this small bag and it has just a couple of items in it. One is a stainless steel pocket clip, which is, I, I have tried it on the light. It works very well. I may decide to carry that way, but I think I'm probably gonna be using this as a keychain flashlight. So to assist with doing that, Angel Eyes or Rovivon provided two split rings, two different size, or they're actually the same diameter but different thickness split rings to give you a choice of how you want to install it. All right, let's put those items aside, bring the light back in. So I did mention it has a non-replaceable lithium polymer battery, 330 milliamp battery. Now I know that's not what people want to hear, that it's non-replaceable, but as I mentioned, I chose this light because it does have the option of you installing your own AAA battery of your choice. And I'll show you what I've got in here in a few minutes time. Now here's the other cool features about this thing. It is USB type C rechargeable, a very small port right here. See if I can get this open with my fingernail. A little bit uh, challenging with my fingernail, but oh there we go. Okay, I got it now. So you can see where the USB type C charging cable would be used. Now of note, this flashlight did not come with one of those cables, but you know, most of us have more than enough of those type of cables around. If they want to save a few dollars on that, I'm okay with that as well. The other cool feature about this light is the fact that there are two LEDs on the front of it. These are luminous SST 20s rated as 6,500 K or a uh, Calvin cool white light. And as you'll see, it is a nice white light and very bright as well. But also on the side is another set of LEDs and they're a, a little bit uh, warmer on the warm side, but also with red and blue. And I'll get to those in a few minutes time to give you more information. Now, as far as the physical specifications for this diminutive light, total weight, and that's with the extra AAA battery that I have installed in it, 30 grams. So nice and light. This really would work on a keychain. I wouldn't want it much bigger, but I think I will be able to carry this on my keychain and quite appreciate that. The length of it overall, 66.1 millimeters. The width, 27.5 millimeters. The thickness through here, 13.5 millimeters. It is waterproof to IPX6, and it has an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. All right, let's go through the performance specifications of this light. I'm going to start with the primary lights or the forward lights on this, and I'll start with what would you can expect from the lithium polymer battery. So it does have a moonlight setting of 0.5 lumens, which is rated to 62 hours runtime. Low is 10 lumens, rated for 15 hours. Medium is 100 lumens, rated for two hours. And high is 700 lumens, rated for three minutes, and then it will drop down to 150 lumens, lasting one more hour. It does have a strobe, but it does not provide what the strobe lumen setting is. Now, if I switch over to the AA or the AAA battery, and you can switch back and forth, I'll show you how that's done, and choose which battery it is you want to use. If I switch over to the AAA battery, the moonlight is again 0.5 lumens, the low is five lumens, so it's only 
half of what it is on the lithium polymer. The medium is only 20 lumens and the high is 100 lumens. So if you don't mind the lower lumen settings and you want to use it on your AAA battery, then uh, yeah, it's nice. Otherwise, I think I would be considering the AAA as a backup should I run low on the re non-replaceable lithium polymer battery inside. Now, when it comes to the side light, the lumens on the side of this, um, it has a low of 0.5 lumens, and that'll last for 62 hours, and it has a high of 60 lumens, lasting for two hours, so it's only low and high. On red, it has a 50 lumen uh, brightness, lasting 1.5 hours. It doesn't have any information regarding the blue light, as you'll see in a few minutes. All right, when it comes to the operation of the Angel Eyes E8, uh, there's quite a bit to go through, and I'll see if I can keep it brief enough and clear enough. But of course, all the information I've given you, including the specifications, and the operation will be in the video description under this video. So to start with, some of the key things, especially if you're going to use this as a pocket carry flashlight or an EDC flashlight with the little uh, pocket clip that comes with it, you want to know about the electric electronic lockout. So the electronic lockout, first off, I guess I should point out, there are two buttons on the side and quite intuitively, the forward button known as the primary button operates the forward lights on it with the second button being the secondary button operates the side lights, of course. So let's start with the lock. So to lock the light, you would press down four times on the primary switch, one, two, three, four, and the light is now locked off. You can see pressing it is not doing anything. So that's a nice little feature. To unlock it, then press again four times. One, two, three, four. And now I have the light operating and I can turn it on. I don't want to blind you with the light and turn it off again. So that is the lock. Now, moonlight. To operate Moonlight, it is a short press of the primary button, and you can see it turns on and a short press to turn it off. If you want instant access to the high, you can press and hold the primary button, and you've got a temporary but instant access to high on and off, which is a kind of feature, nice feature. However, if you want to turn on the primary light and run through its settings of low, medium, and high, you double press the primary button. And you can see it's on. If I press it again, it goes up to medium or high now, low, medium, and high. It just continues to cycle through unless I press and hold the button and to turn the light off. All right, now when it comes to operating the side light, again, we're going to be using the secondary button to operate the side LEDs. So the first one you're going to do is just a quick tap, and it's going to bring on the white light. Tap it again, and it runs up to high. So it's just low and high, low and high. And if you want to access the red you from off, it's to turn it off is a long hold, is double tap. And now you're going into red. Now, if I press the secondary button quickly, it cycles through, as you can see, that strobe, just a steady beacon, and then steady on, and I have to hold the button down to turn it off. If I want to access the blue light, I triple press. And you can see the blue light comes on right next to where the white light is. I think it's showing up on the camera mostly as white, but it is blue and it does give a nice blue light here. Well, maybe that's a little bit better. How's that if I show it down on the tabletop? And again, a long press to turn it off. It doesn't do anything other than just the one setting in blue. All right, just before I show you how you access the batteries, if you want to change out your AAA battery, there is one other feature I didn't show you about the primary light, and of course that is strobe. To access strobe with the light turned off, triple press the primary button, one, two, three, and off again. Now, I'll show you how to access the battery itself. So there is a lever on the side which keeps the forward portion of the light uh, attached and in place. So in order to release that, you do have to press in on both ends of the flashlight. Use your fingernail to lift the little lever, rotate the 
flashlight about 90 degrees and now you can access the triple a battery and for this demonstration i'm using a rechargeable nickel metal hydrate battery from high quick and i'll talk more about those in another video but these were also sent to me for testing and i found that they're really good they actually do work well and actually they're comparable to a an alkaline triple a in terms of their output and runtime so i find that quite nice and uh, they hold their charge for a long time so I think it's a good alternative to disposable batteries. So to put that back in, you do kind of have to press it down a little bit to allow the head to bypass and then snap it down and you're good to go. Now, the other feature is you can switch back and forth between each battery. So if you want to not use your primary battery, being the lithium polymer, and you want to switch over to your alternate AAA battery, then you can do so. And I just have to double check how that is done. So to do that, you start with a short press of the light to turn on your moonlight and then triple press the button. Now, I want to make sure you can see this because right up here are two small LEDs, a green one and a blue one. So if I triple press now, you should see that the green one is on. That's indicating to me that the light is running off of the AAA battery. And if I triple press again, it switches over to blue, and that indicates to me that the light is running off of the lithium polymer battery. All right, having gone over the key features as well as the physical and performance specifications and the modes of operation for the Rovi Vaughn Angel Eyes E8 keychain flashlight, we're going to get outside and do some testing. Now, normally with a light of this side, I would do all my testing inside because I can see that's where you would normally use a light like this. But as you see, when we get it outside, it is bright enough to be used outside. So it makes it a good EDC light. All right, let's do exactly that. Get outside and do some testing. All right, we're doing some nighttime tests under the Rovi Vaughn Angel Eyes E8. You're not going to see moonlight out here, but I will turn it on at low. So there's low. Trying to show you around. You're not seeing much in my backyard. I can certainly see around my feet. Nice light for inside the house, inside the car, maybe inside the tent. Let's tap it up to medium. All right, now we're starting to see some light. Such a tiny little keychain flashlight, and I can light up the whole backyard here, but let's take it up to high. That is simply amazing for such a small light. That's the neighbor's home. Beyond that, the neighbor, next neighbor up. And I can see the house the far side of that. Yeah, I'd say that's plenty bright for a small flashlight. All right, let's see if we can't wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts. So I mentioned early in the video that this is likely going to become my keychain flashlight of choice to go with my primary set of car keys. I have a small light on there I've had for a number of years. And while it's been functional, it's not all that bright. And although this is a little bit bigger than the other light, I think it's going to be worth the extra bulk to carry this along so that I have that much more capability in my light. This is, as you saw outdoors, a very bright light. The fact that you can access high instantaneously and access moonlight pretty much instantaneously and get access to the side lights very easily. I think there is a lot of features to this light that make it a good choice either for EDC or as I'm going to use it for a keychain flashlight. Now, honestly, with the side lights, the light I'm likely to use most often, and that's very not very often at all, is the red light. I just find that the red light, one, I can use it for uh, retaining my night vision if I have to see somewhere in the dark, but also the fact that it has the beacon uh, and the, well, the two types of beacon means that I could use this for signaling or safety reasons as well. Now, I just want to speak to the batteries this light has as well. First off, I know that people are going to be disappointed that it does come with a previously installed uh, uh, unex or unchangeable one you can't access lithium polymer battery and yes that's unfortunate but I think that's made up for by the fact that you can add in your own triple a battery now I'm choosing to use a nickel metal hydrate a rechargeable battery rather than an alkaline because I think the disposable alkalines are just as bad as having something that you can't access so let's do our part and save the environment not buy the alkaline batteries buy the recharge batteries and there's some really good information out there about which of are the best of the re 
rechargeable AAAs and AA batteries. In fact, I'm going to put a link to a video in the video description where I watched a video by Hobotech. I think many of you are familiar with that channel. If you like technology, then he is one of the guys that I turn to for information. He did a video doing some comparisons and it was based on his recommendations, not by brand, but by type that I chose to go with the nickel metal high dried batteries. Okay, I think that's everything I want to give you today. As mentioned in the opening, I will provide all the information I have for this flashlight in the video description below, including all the specifications and the link to where you can take another look at it. If you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comment section below this video. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.